Hey everyone, welcome back. You know we love to dig into the stories you send our way, and today we're diving into one that really caught our eye. Subway's plan to open 10,000 new restaurants globally. 10,000? That's a lot of sandwiches. Right. I mean, we all know Subway, but this isn't just about adding a few more shops. This feels different. You flagged this intel, so you obviously see something significant here. What makes this move so noteworthy? It's the sheer scale of the ambition, for one. This isn't about maintaining their current presence, it's about fundamentally changing the game. Subway wants to be the dominant player in fast casual dining, and they're making some pretty bold moves to get there. Okay, so let's break it down. We're talking 10,000 restaurants. Yeah. How are they even planning to pull that off? Well, they're not doing it alone. A big part of their strategy hinges on these master franchise agreements they've been signing. Over 20 in the past three years, in fact, and seven just this year alone master franchise agreements. So these aren't just like individual folks opening up a single subway location, right? We're talking about something much bigger. Exactly. These are major partnerships with well-established operators who can handle expansion on a massive scale. Think multi-unit, multi-country, sometimes even multi-region. These are serious players with the experience and resources to make this kind of growth happen. So subway is basically partnering with heavy hitters who can take their brand and like replicated all over the place. That's a good way to put it. It's a lot more efficient than trying to manage thousands of individual franchisees. They're looking for partners who can really scale things up quickly. Makes sense. But where exactly are all these new subways going to end up? Are we talking about a subway on every corner in America, or are they going more global with this? Oh, it's definitely global. We're talking about pushing into completely new markets like Paraguay and Mongolia. Yeah. And in existing markets where they already have a presence, like France and Brazil, they're talking about a major ramp up in locations. Wow. So it's not just about saturating the market we already know. It's about going truly international. Exactly. And that signals a pretty significant shift for the brand. They're not just content with being a familiar name. They want to be a global force in fast casual dining. Okay, so this is a bold move. But let's talk numbers for a second. This kind of aggressive expansion, it has to be a huge jump from their previous growth, right? You're right. It is. To put it in perspective, they're on track to more than double the number of new restaurants they opened in 2019. Wow. And keep in mind, that's after navigating the whole COVID-19 pandemic, which really threw a wrench in the gears for a lot of businesses, especially in the food industry. So to see this level of growth after those challenges, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it really speaks to a company that's not just trying to stay afloat. They're actively looking for ways to come out on top. Exactly. And I think it shows that they have a strategy in place and they're willing to make bold moves to achieve their goals. It really is something. And the thing is, it's not just about opening restaurants left and right. There's a method to the madness, a strategy that goes beyond just expanding their footprint. 